Hey, this is Ivar Bjornsson from Enslaved. You are watching the Age of Metal. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie here with the Age of Metal and I'm here right now with Enslaved, so how are you? I'm really good, thanks. Thanks. Thank you. So we are currently at Hellfest 2016 and this is the last day we're wrapping up an awesome festival and you're going to be playing later on tonight, so how are you feeling? Are you excited? I'm very excited. You know, we've been there at Hellfest a bunch and it's such a great festival and the lineup is just ridiculous in a positive yeah. way. Yeah. So being part of this is, uh, yeah, it's an honor. Nice. And to you, what separates Hellfest from any other European festival? I think the booking. Uh, you know, of course, I'm going to give myself credit now for that answer. <laughs> but uh, I, I really think they have everything within metal. But they really, they have this balance of things that are valuable to us metal fans, both in terms of metal history. Uh, but also contemporary and showing the new stuff and, uh, and they seem to have a, a very good overview i don't know it's just i see these hellfest posters with the bands that are playing right. and i always just get like really excited and if we're playing who, which band is playing these you know today we get to see we run off stage we're going to see black sabbath and then we're going to see fucking king diamond playing it's abigail be so, yeah, it's gonna be so, good. so yeah it's it's a bit of a smorgos board of, right. of metal. Now we don't want to ignore the other European festivals, especially since you're going to be doing a whole uh, run of them. So overall, do you want to just talk about the touring you're going to be doing in Europe? Yeah, we're doing uh, something like 10, 11, 12 more okay, nice. after this. Uh, we've done a couple already. Uh, we're doing more shows in Germany than we've done in a long time. So so that's that's really positive. You know, it's it's the it's the homeland of the metal festivals. If you go online and search up German Metal Festival, you'll get shocked on how many like mid-sized big festivals there are. Is that what you did? <laughs> That's what I did. Because some of these that we got booked into, I hadn't heard about before. So I'm thinking, okay, these are some guys doing it in their yard, but mm -hmm. turns out they're all big festivals. It's fantastic. That's so, so I think the metal crowds of the world should really, you know, take some time every now and then and, and thank Germany for their metal scene. Because they have they have their metal discos, they have their CD clubs, they have their LP clubs. You know, they're so devoted to keeping it going. You know, while the rest of the world is sitting, you know, downloading shit from piracy places, the Germans are fucking keeping it alive. Well, thank you, Germany. I think we can all agree that you made a very awesome contribution to the metal industry. A little extra thank you for creative destruction in Sodom. Yes, German thrush. Hell yeah. So let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the year. You have a lot of well, more exciting touring. You're going to be playing Loud Park in Japan and also um, doing some more in the East, like going to Australia. So are you excited to play uh, these places? Very much so. Nice. Australia we played in 2013. Yeah, it was fantastic. Such a warm welcome. We had so much fun. And now we... I think last time we didn't have any time off. Now we have one day off. So we're going to see that. Japan is going to be very special. It's supposedly like the third biggest music or metal market in the world. Wow. But I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, they're in their own little bubble <laughs> over there. <laughs> I'm so excited to see that. You know, I'm, I'm really interested in, in, in history and, uh, and just to see what's going on in Japan. And maybe do a little bit of sumo, sumo wrestling, you know, if I got the maybe. chance. Maybe. Maybe. Should fans expect a enslaved sumo wrestling match? That'd be awesome. <laughs> I think you should do it tonight at Hellfest, just to warm us all up for a while part. Just to confuse the French a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Better just eat baguettes on stage. <laughs> right. What is it? Why is he wearing only diapers? Again. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, it's been 25 years of Enslaved, so, I mean, that's an amazing accomplishment. Did you ever think that the band would, I mean, 
will not only be active this long, but also be such a huge influence in the metal scene for this long? It's, it's a divided answer to that, because I actually never thought about Enslaved in, in that sense, like how long will we be going, because it always felt really urgent from the first day, and uh, being totally honest, up till today, it, it's always felt super urgent. I have to make more songs, we have to go out there and play. I don't know where it's coming from, uh, but it's it's such a, you know, it's such a defined life mission for me, to right. writing for Enslaved and, and doing this, and it's so much fun, so I, I'm only thinking about like next week, next month, next year, next album. Um, but the surprise element is perhaps that it's a, it, that it, some people say that it's been an inference. Because that's, that's a huge thing. I, I never took that into consideration. But when you meet a, a new band uh, that say that they're really inspired by Enslaved, it's, it feels unreal and it's uh, very humbling. Uh, well, you mentioned before the urge to keep writing, and that actually goes into my next question, because uh, usually with bands who have been, you know, well, not only around as long as you, but also have remained such a huge influence, that there's always been kind of changes in sounds or new directions with other albums, and I feel that you've always straight true to your roots and just progressively improved with each album, so um, does that make songwriting difficult, or is it more like you said, like you just always need to write, and it's what comes out just comes out. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing difficult about songwriting. It's, it's everything is just logistics. That's the only challenge. It's to when you you know, it's easy when you're 16 or 18, 20, when you feel inspired. You just like close your room, close your door to your room, and tell your parents to fuck off, and then you <laughs> play your guitar, and then you're 30 something, and you got you know little kids running around, and they need their things, whatever you know. Uh, and then it's always not so easy. So... I mean, on the conversation of writing music, is there anything you could tell us about new music? Yeah, it's it's begun. We have uh, some demos done for the next one. Oh, nice. So now it's just about finding the time to start rehearsing that together. We're going to do that in between the festivals. Okay, nice. Awesome. So that's uh, it's sort of, I have to admit, like, sometimes to get a, people would like to know if you prefer the studio or being on the road. I have to say that, that that limbo state of starting to work on new stuff while you're still touring, I really like that because it's, it's chaotic. It's chaotic. That and you're not around your kids, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. Well, do you have a message for Hellfest at all? I think they have to keep on what they're doing. You just have to keep their focus and, you know, the development from first time we, we, we played the first year of Hellfest. And where they are now, it's just immense, the development. So if we get to play on more, fantastic. If not, you know, we're really proud to have been part of the history of it, so. They, 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 they might be scary now because you might do some sumo wrestling on stage. <laughs> you know, that might just happen. And here's the last question. Do you have a message for the fans or anything? Yes, uh, you know, it's 25th anniversary, so I, I, I think I have I think I can be a little bit uh, nostalgic. I'm allowed to be a little bit, you know. Uh, and I just want to thank everybody who, from the people who bought the first demo, who came out to the first tours, and all over the years, and to the people who are here now, you guys for doing an interview and, you know, being interested in what Enslaved is doing. It's, uh, you know, it's a big privilege, and I hope that we're repaying the dedication by pretty much being manic and working all the time. Then. Thank you for watching. This is Stephanie with the Age of Metal and Enslaved obviously has a lot of great things going on. They're constantly touring. New music, 25 years, still going strong. So keep up with everything they're doing. Keep up with everything Hellfest is doing. If you haven't gone to Hellfest, go. It's awesome. 
and thank you again for watching. Stay metal.